I first want to highlight this promise in the commandment. I don't know about you, but I've um, seemed to have read over this promise that God attaches to this fifth commandment. He says, honor your father and mother, then you will live a long, full life in the land the Lord your God is giving you. I don't know about you, but I, I didn't really like, that didn't sink in all the times I read this before. That's an incredible promise to be attached to this commandment. And I was also kind of wrestling with the why this week. Why would God give this commandment? Because he gave it knowing full well our parents are not perfect, right? He, God gave us these 10 commandments after Adam and Eve screwed everything up. So God knew full well that our parents were not going to be perfect, yet he still gives us this commandment, and he doesn't even address their imperfection in the commandment. He doesn't say, honor your father and mother if they deserve it, if they are honorable, if they are respectable. I think that varies for each one of us in this room where our parents land on that scale. But God does not even address it. He just says, honor your father and mother. So I think a couple reasons why God would give this commandment, why he'd put it in the Big Ten. One of them is that respect for authority begins in the home. Respect for authority, learning to work under authority, begins in the home. This is especially true in our teenage years. And I'm actually going to talk a little bit more about that later. So we can respect authority. We can learn how to respect authority. And number two, how I relate to my parents will affect every other relationship in my life. Our relationship with our parents is the relationship where we learn how to have relationships. In fact, there's been many studies that have come out showing that the way that young men treat their moms is usually the way they end up treating their wives and vice versa. The way that young women treat their dads is usually how they end up treating their husbands. And so if you're here today and you're dating, it's a great test for you to look at. How does your significant other treat their parents? Because it most likely, unless there's some big life change that happens, which is also possible, it most likely is going to be the way that they end up treating you. And so relationships are formed. We, we, we learn how to have relationships from our parents. And again, God knows they're not perfect. He knows this. Yet he still gave us this command. He wants us to honor them because we're going to learn how to relate to men, to women, through our parents. It is a relationship-forming, building relationship. And so we can learn respect for authority, and we learn how to have relationships with our family. And that's just a couple of reasons I could think of. I'm sure there are more why God would give us this commandment.